Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. As you can see, and this is a good thing, uh, definitely a different setting than normal. We are in sunny and beautiful and warm Florida right now. A stark departure from where it's like 25 degrees and snowing at home. Thank God, happy to be here. Um, now I am here on a family vacation, so I'm not really doing any car stuff or really any YouTube stuff, uh, but I did, I had to at least do something. So right now we're going to McLaren Tampa Bay where I picked up the car. There she is in Florida waiting for me. That's epic, that is freaking epic. Oh my God, I missed you. I'm so happy to see you down here. This is, I haven't seen the McLaren in like a week. We have a lot of luggage in there. Now, what are you gonna do with the big bag? Are you sure? Yeah. Or we could stuff it in where I book bag is and I'll hold my book bag. You wanna try that since yours is smaller? We couldn't fit everything, but I think we did pretty damn good considering the kind of car we're dealing with. Uh, from, I got it shipped down from Philly to McLaren Tampa and I'm gonna drive a 600 LT. Now, I pretty much already made my decision about what car I'm keeping and what car I'm getting. And I'm quite certain I'm going to keep the 720 and not get the 600 LT that I ordered, but I might, you know, after I drive it, who knows? I might really, really love it, and I might wanna get the one that I spec'd out, and it's a great spec, it's super cool. Uh, same color, Napier Green, I made a whole video about all the options I got on my 600 if you wanna check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to drive one, and that exhaust, I mean, mmm. Pipes coming out the top of the engine bay, that by itself, almost, I feel like, makes the 600 worth it, but we'll see. So let's buckle up and get ready for a nice ride to Tampa. Rolls-Royce, Bentley, and Aston Martin. So freaking cool. We checked out the Cullinan the other night. We don't ever get to see these cars. Like, I haven't seen a Rolls-Royce. Ever, really. One of the new ones. Like a new fa I have not seen a new Phantom ever. Is this a Volcano Orange? That is. Oh yes. I had a Volcano Orange 570 before my 720. Uh -huh. Love the color. The, the Volcano colors just have so much depth to them. Oh it's yeah. Incredible. It gets driven too. Look, you can tell. It gets driven. Wow. That is epic. This, the car you got outside, but <laughs> a little bit more luxury. A little bit. It's like sitting in your living room driving down the highway. Actually, this, uh, that's that's insulting. This is much nicer than our living room. <laughs> this is way nicer. Wow. There's a tray like here on an airplane. Okay, you've got oh, yeah, look. tables on the back of the front seats, and then there's also. Let me reach around here with this button. 
There's a video monitor. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow that is epic that is awesome i love the blue too like that's kind of look at babe look at babe I'm, I'm gonna need you to feel that carpet look at I, know, that I would car never have my shoes on yeah it's like it feels so good how do you even step on this with your well i guess if you buy this you don't care but i, w I would take my shoes off before i started that's well, lambs will floor mats are one of the most popular options and they're so particular, they'll only use the very first shearing of that lamb. Really? Now I've got a couple more years of shaving this stuff than you. <laughs> but remember when you were a teenager and it yeah. was just peach fuzz? And that's all and it's it is? coarser and coarser. Well, the more you shave, shear that sheep, the same thing happens. It'll make a heck of a wool sweater, but not gonna be very soft to the touch. So they only use so the very first shearing. So they have to use 19,000 lambs to, to make one set of carpets. Yeah. That's great. It is soft. I mean, I would love to just take my shoes off there and you can relax. That's really cool. Wow. I feel like this one's the softest. The blue one. Yeah, the blue. One. Oh it's my like... God. I'm going to cost $1,000. I'm reaching like a 720. <laughs> I forgot. All right, boys, the 600 LT. Uh, so this is more of like a more of like a regular car spec. You can see uh, no center seats, regular seats, all leather, um, but very comfy. You know if it's going to be a daily driver. Now I did spec mine Senna, as you guys know. It does have the carbon fiber, very very similar to my 570 spec carbon on the uh, right by the screen as well. Carbon, big paddles, carbon wheel, orange center line. I would do that red for this car, but I think it might only come in orange. I'm not sure. I mean it's McLaren. You can change anything you want. Uh, one really cool feature, carpeted door sill, but no carpet at all. So you can see that's the real carbon tub right there, fully exposed. You get floor mats, but no no carpeting, just the carbon fiber tub. That's a real, I mean, basically full on race car. Very cool. Although the orange I see now matches the LT logo. So I like that. No roof scoop, nothing crazy on the roof. Same uh, storage compartment in the back. Red seat belts, a nice touch. And that's about it for the inside. Outside, I'm not sure what wheels these are, um, but they're not the, they're not the super lightweight wheels. Uh, but they look pretty cool. They they have their own unique look to them for sure. And uh, I did notice I think this tire is bigger on the 600 than it is the 570. It also has the level three carbon exterior packaging, uh, so you get full carbon on the back. Really really cool. The vents and the uh, tail light which the 570 does not have. Full carbon diffuser, that looks epic from the back. Really, really cool view, back of the car. With the diffuser, the exhaust poking out from under the wing and the wing itself. You got full carbon on the back. I think you can do carbon wing, and I think you can do carbon engine cover as well. I'm pretty sure you can. And then like mine's gonna have the roof scoop, so the roof is gonna be full carbon, which is gonna, I mean, that is going to look epic. And then we got the carbon, Side skirt, carbon side venting, carbon on the bottom of the door, and carbon front diffuser. And you can see the uh, front is a little bit more aggressive than a regular 570. They do look, I mean, from the front, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, uh, but this, this part is uh, different. Carbon mirrors too, just like uh, my car had. But yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Setting off in the 600 LT. You trust me, right? I trust you, right. <laughs> This thing, this thing is awesome so far. <laughs> that is so freaking loud behind your head. Right behind your head. So incredibly loud back there. And I mean, my 570S was straight piped and all, and this is way louder inside the cabin from what you can hear, it's, it's nuts. Like everything's more aggressive about it. it. Feels more like a race car. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! The pops coming out the back. That's where it's at. Like that experience having that exact, and I can look out and see it out the rear view window.
now. A mirror, I mean. <laughs> God. Imagine at nighttime and you see flames shooting out the exhaust. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. Oh, those pops. Oh my God, the pops. It's like I said before I even got in the car, I knew the exhaust would be 80% of the experience and it really is. The GLI wants some. Look at him go. He wants it. He wants it. <laughs> This one, and then we can have two Napier greens. Okay. It just seems smaller. I totally agree. I'm so glad I came over here today because this was like we went to Disney World, right? And the whole family, everybody loves Disney World. This was my Disney World, and uh, I have to say, this thing really, really makes me. Th I'm very glad I got to drive it. And again, huge thank you to uh, Rolls Royce, McLaren, Tampa Bay. These guys are great. Uh, because that really like makes me think it, it really it feels like a bare bones race car which i love uh, now the 720 has its own way of uh, conveying that raw speed but i really you guys know i loved my 570 and this is like a 570 on steroids cranked up to 12 um, and i feel like this car straight piped and tuned would just be stupid like that can you imagine straight piped flames coming out of there like mine shot huge flames the flames they'd be like six feet tall <laughs> that would be just dumb. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I got to buy another car soon. Such a badass little car. And my spec, I mean, picture that Napier Green, full carbon with a roof scoop. Oh. That is badass. They waved us up with their noodles and they said, come up here yeah, and park. It was sweet. Great uh, Sublime Challenger here. Now, as you guys I'm sure know, they didn't sell these as a convertible. So people buy them and I guess a company makes them. Uh, but that's kind of cool. You don't usually see it. it. Looks like a pretty clean, looks like a pretty clean job. That's wild though. They chopped the whole roof off. Do you have to get this custom made? Yeah. So who, like a, a company does it? Drop top customs. Drop top customs. Yeah. Okay. They're in uh, High Springs, Florida. And you're, you're happy with it? Like the top oh, yeah. works good and everything? Cool. The only thing I don't like, this is 2015. Okay. And what they were doing back then is there's no control on the windows in the driver's seat. The windows only come up when the top goes up. Okay. But in 2016, they changed it. So you have an independent control for the windows. For the windows. So that you can have the top down and all four. And the windows up, yeah. Windows up. That's cool. It looks really it looks really clean though. Like it looks Thank factory. You. It looks great. 
Well, it's a factory authorized conversion. Is it? Okay. The car is a one of five out of the factory and one of one with the conversion. That's badass. Yeah, I've, I've never, I saw one driving around one time, but never up close. It's cool. Original Grand Sport. That's badass. I love that car. I mean, how can you argue with that color scheme? Red, white, and blue on a vet? Absolutely. Oh yeah, the old Stingray, not a split window, but still very cool. And uh, whoa, is that a new Supra? Four hundred thousand for this thing. The car, well, this car—that's a Miami car, for Lauderdale. It don't belong up here. It's just because <laughs> I'm sure you'd see them all over the place in Miami. That's why I was saying, oh, that's a dime a dozen, you know, them guys. Take a picture of me. Okay. I love this one. This is cool as it can be. No, this is this is. Uh... I love this is a race car. The thing about these car shows is it's mostly like it's mostly older people at the car shows down here. So the McLaren tends to draw <laughs> <laughs> tends to draw more of a crowd. That upper control arm at the back, it's huge. Now Humvees have portal axles, of course. But this would be so great for the beach. That's so much fun in this. The doors, you just, babe, look, you throw your doors in the back. This one is for Bobby, my buddy, RF Racing. Now this is a Dakota, just like he has, uh, but they sold these. It was called the Dakota Sport, I think. Or, or I guess just the Dakota Convertible. Same interior as his too. Same color scheme and all. Uh, but yeah, you could buy a convertible Dakota. That I don't think they sold very well. You rarely see them, but this is a factory option you could get on your Dakota. This is really cool. So this is obviously a something. I don't know. Babe, what kind of car is this? Ivo Coyote Swap. Super clean in here too. Like super clean swap. Wiring, harness, everything is like, it looks like this could be a factory. Uh, option. I guess the, the advantage of an old car with a huge engine bay is you can stuff any newer engine into it and it fits really well, but that's really cool. Again, sorry, I, I'm going to get roasted in the comments because I don't know what type of car it is. I would imagine it's some type of Ford, but uh, it's, a it, it's, it's a Mercury. Babe, you were right. Mercury. <laughs> I couldn't go by without pointing out this super clean Cummins. This truck looks awesome. Looks all factory, like the paint just has an older look to it. I would imagine it is, uh, but that is super clean. Old Cummins dually, that's awesome. Not sure in the year, I would guess like early to mid 80s for this, but that is neat. From Ohio. I love the old stuff too. I mean, I don't know much about them, which is, it makes, them it, makes it tough to like talk about it, but I think they're really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed our little vlog from Florida. We did so much down there, and uh, I thought about just putting in everything, but I tried to condense it into something a little bit more watchable, um, but we had a ton of fun. You know, we went all over the place, and that was just really a fraction of like all the footage I have, but I didn't want to make like an hour long video. I figured 20 minutes is about as long as most people want to watch. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think about the 600 LT in the comments below. Um, I really, I mean, I thought about it long and hard. Parker, by the way, just got his 600 LT today, uh, which is kind of funny that I was like planning this upload and then he, he, he got his a couple days ago actually, but his video is just coming out today. Um, but like, and now we're both talking about it at the same time. We ordered our cars at about the same time as well. 
Um, but you know, I, I mean, I've thought about it back and forth so much and I still think for me, I think the 720 is the right car, especially now that he has one, not that like, oh, that ruins it for me, but you know, if he's gonna be making 600 LT content and our spec is very similar, I can tell you that um, in one way, you guys already know the color, so you can guess what that similarity might be. Um, but if he's gonna be making that content, yeah, it's kind of like, well, then I, I would just be making the same content, really. Uh, so I think the 720 is the right car for me, but I really, really did love the way the 600 felt and drove. And, you know, to be honest, there, there's a lot of aspects of the 570 that I like more for daily driving. I think really the, the Sport Series McLaren is a better daily than the 720 in, in a lot of different ways. Um, and also my girlfriend, she enjoyed the 600 LT. She likes the way that one drives better than the 720, um, which I can't falter. It really felt pretty cool. Um, but the 720 is so much faster in a straight line. It would make it look like that car isn't even moving. So I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure, I'm still pretty freaking sure I'm gonna keep the 720, you never know. But uh, once again, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, take care and have a great night.